get ready for dictation start there can be no doubt that a reduction in the number of years of married life in a woman's reproductive cycle would be dramatically reflected in the number of children she is likely to bear this measure was indeed adopted in 1978 when the legal age of marriage for women was raised from 15 to 18 and 21 for men but this law from the start been perhaps the most flouted one in our country a large proportion of girls still get married well before the legal age for want of effective social pressure against early marriages which have serious health consequences for the mother and the child besides pushing up fertility this is admittedly a difficult problem but one which must be faced the continued toleration of its violation on the part of the public encourages disregard of other laws as well and undermines the very concept and framework of a society based on the rule of law the second point concerns the critical importance of female education and literacy as a crucial determinant of fertility amongst women in india all the statistics prove that we all know for instance that kerala with the highest female literacy create in the country also enjoys the lowest birth rate while rajasthan's appallingly low female literacy rate is more than fully reflected in the highest birth rate in the country this should surely suffice to convince the central and state governments that concentrating on literacy programs particularly amongst girls and young women would be a most effective instrument in reducing the birth rate literacy and primary education programs are primarily the responsibility of state governments and the levels of achievement in each state depend largely on the degree of interest and determination on the part of the respective governments and on the priority given to education in their allocation of funds if a shortage of funds proves to be the main impediment then the means must be found with the intervention of the central government if necessary to supplement them a major cause of our failure to achieve fuller and quicker results in our family planning and health programs has been because of a failure of communications the act that large sections of our rural population have up to now been almost inaccessible except to their immediate neighbors because of their remote location and with no means of communication with some variations the nature of the problem in poverty stricken africa and latin america must be the same although all population strategies have to relate to specific cultural 
contests historical background and contemporary economic imperatives basically the central plank of a successful population stabilization strategy should be awareness of the risks commitment to small family norm and determination to achieve desired results in a reasonable time frame otherwise the snowballing effect of exploding numbers will set at not all tidy plans the two scourges we still face are hunger and environmental degradation both are of global character and therefore demand global solutions it is a dismal thought that 750 million of the world's poorest people earn to meet basic needs in the words of activist former prime minister of japan hunger takes the lives of 13 to 18 million people annually three quarter of these are children under the age of 5 it is appalling that as we sit here now 18 children die every minute because of hunger can we be complacent about this tragic fact in the mid 40s several demographers thought that by the year 2000 ad the world would have a population of 3 billion these estimates have had to be revised upwards it is estimated now that by the year 2020 that is in just another 3 decades the world may have to cope with 8 billion it seems that since 1975 the decline in fertility in some of the third world countries has almost leveled off in india the world's second most populous country for instance the fertility rate has got stuck at 4.8 that means that india will overtake china by the middle of the next century in indonesia too after the initial successive reduction of fertility to 4.3 the downward trend has been arrested during my last visit to china when i complimented china on her achievement in slowing down growth rate of population senior leader of china voiced anxiety at the slowing down of the process of reduction of fertility because rapid growth might well threaten china's elaborate development and modernization strategies are we not overstretching the earth's natural resources there are fears that production of food may not keep pace with the needs of the growing population there may not be enough water for all the environment will further deteriorate resulting in more frequent visitations such as seasonal droughts and floods shelter remains a critical problem it can certainly get worse as is visible from rapidly mushrooming slums in all big or small cities stop 